We're going to show a simple ECC ETOS trigger based on a caller enter digit. You'll see configuration on the server and how that moves to the agent desktop. And we're also going to show you the wrap app. Let's take a look at a Google Pop. Call comes in. I have a caller enter digit 123456 entered in communicator. We have appended that to a URL that we have set to open Firefox. So here's our caller enter digit as part of the URL. We're now going to end the call, and the wrap app is now going to pop. We're going to indicate this is a successful call, hit send, and our interaction is complete. On the server side, this is where we're going to start with our ETOS file. We have the ability to globally change an ETOS or individually change an ETOS. The desktop communicator must be completely exited for these changes to take effect. So let's take a look at our single agent change here. We're going to look for agent 2562, open their ETOS file, and what we're going to see here is that we have our triggers set to 1. That's going to turn them on. We're going to have the ability to do a trigger on an ACD call, but not on email and not on chat. Not necessarily on an incoming event, but on a connected event. So in the next line, I indicate, and this is going to be the path of the Firefox application, in our case, on the agent desktop, utilizing percent account number as our call profile. You can also see we're doing something very similar on wrap-up to open another agent desktop application. Now, if you look within the agent folder itself, you get to the bottom of the big list of agents, you will see the ETOS file that would globally set all of these functions. On the agent desktop side, we're going to watch the ETOS file update. We're going to restart communicator or the toolbar, and then we're going to watch the call pop into Google once again. So here we are in the agent desktop. You can see here is a ETOS file last updated at 10.57 a.m. We restart communicator. Now we're going to zoom in and watch that time change as the server forces a new ETOS file to the agent desktop. Here's our call. Here's our Google pop. And once again, here's our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I hang up and automatically unwrap the application pops, I enter my wrap code, our interaction is finished. For additional resources, you can email the contact center practice at shortel.com. You can also check out the partner site, the support site, and get in touch with your local Shortel SA.